Hi, I'm Tim Gilbert. I'm your instructor for uh, Business 320, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Section 2-2 Frequency Distributions. There's a number of slides in there that'll tell you how to make frequency distributions uh, and relative frequency distributions. But uh, I'd like to have you think a little more about uh, uh, what the charts tell you uh, rather than just how to build them. So let's take a look at a uh, table here of data that's in 2-2 uh, and it's the Oscar winning ages of best actresses. So we've got a, uh, well we got a guest who came into the office this morning, talked to us a little bit. His name is uh, George Burns and uh, He's a comedian. He's about 106 now. Hi, George. How you doing? I'm doing well. Good, George. Uh, you probably knew some of these actresses. Uh, this first actress, 76 years ago, and uh, Myrna Loy. Yeah. Yeah, I knew Myrna. She uh, she and I started movies together. She was 22 when she got her... How old was it? 22 when she got her Oscar. Well, that means we would take 22-year-old and put her over in this class with here between 21 and 30 year old winners and she'd be one winner of the 28 that won their awards in their uh, age 21 to 30 years old. Well, let's go along here. Deb. There's a 37 year old, a tw oh another 20 something year old. Oh yeah, I, that was my wife Gracie Allen. Gracie won uh, for a comedy. Oh that's great George. Now let's put her over here in the data. 21 to 30 years old, so that's two of the 28. Oh, there's a 26 year old. Yeah, that was, uh, actually I can't remember who that was, but I knew her. Oh, well that's good, George. Uh, that memory does fail us as we get older, and you're about 103, so. Let's put that third one over here, that's three of the 28. So you can see what we're doing is we're picking the ages and put, counting them in here if they fall within this class width. Well, George, I see that uh, an actress, if she's in her 20s, 20, she won 28 times, or they won 28 times, 40s, uh, 30 30-year-olds, 30 31 to 40, 30 times, 41 to 50, 12. What do you notice about this chart, George? Well, it's uh, kind of tough for a woman over 50 to win an award. Sure is. Only six women over 50 won an Oscar uh, in the last 76 years. If they don't win it by the time they're 40 in this society, uh, it's going to be a little tough for them to get, be an Oscar winner. You bet your boots. Well, yeah, okay. Great, George. Good to talk to you. Go uh, rest in peace. Well, that was nice of George to stop in, but he did uh, observe, and that's what happens. If you're looking at the table, you might not see it as easily, or you wouldn't see it as easily. But here, you can see there's quite a bias to younger actresses winning the Oscars. Social workers would have more insight as to why this bias might happen. But good charts, again, don't get into the specialty, a special knowledge of criminal justice, social work, or business. It's a, or nursing. It's up to the respective expert in the field to say what does this mean in their field um, when they see this kind of response on a frequency chart. Let's take a look at one more frequency chart. Uh, these are the slides that tell you how to build it and you can take a look at those. Click all the way through here. Okay. We're on the chart that is a nice expansion of frequency distributions. Uh, 28, remember, between 21 and 30 years old. Well, what's the relative percentage? 37%. And we got that by 28 divided by 76. So the frequency, then the relative frequency. Frequency 30, it's 39% of the data. 39% of the women who are Oscar winners were between 31 and 40 years old. So there you have it. Simple tool, powerful and insightful, and insightful only if you know your area that you're working in. 
social workers would have more to comment about this distribution of high award percentages for Oscars for younger actresses, what it might mean about our society. But uh, I'll, I'll leave it up to the social work people. I'll stay with the statistics. So we'll see you next time. And uh, don't forget uh, to take a look at uh, how these are built, but more importantly, how they're interpreted, because they're a nice foundation for our discussion in Chapter 4, Probability. So you'll see more of relative frequencies uh, utilized there. Take care.